Welcome. Today, we are going to be trying the most diabolical bulking meals. I asked you on Instagram, what is the most diabolical bulking meal you have either seen or had yourself? You answered, so I am trying them. First things first, we need to get these ingredients, so let's go. Even on a bulk, it's important to get your micronutrients in. That's all the micronutrients for the day. Today's shining star ingredient. Today, the name brand and the off brand are the same price. So we're gonna splurge, treat ourselves. This is way too much. I'd never eat this much peanut butter in my whole life. Even apart from this video, I'm gonna get a smaller one. Store brand. Mm. It's important to create your list uh, for listing purposes. Oil. Oh my acne. Oh. Right as I was about to give up because I couldn't find the King's Hawaiian Rolls anywhere, the King Station. The last sliced loaf. I cannot believe it. Seven ninety-nine. Fast as bagger. Okay, first one we're gonna start with, I'm going to call this the breakfast pancake from hell. Viewer discretion is advised. None of these meals had any sort of instruction on prep, so I'm gonna do my best. This is the only one that had some instruction. The most instruction was mildly cooking and blending. This one is the mildly cooked one. So, first things first, Eight egg, count them. Eight. Eight, count them. Eight eggs. Oats. Peanut butter. Milk. Perfect. Transfer. Transfer. Careful. <laughs> Gently mix it. Why are there little circles in there? What is that? What are those? It's cheese. What is that? Ew. Said to just slightly cook it. Breakfast is served. Next, let's go for a little snack. This one is a peanut butter and tuna sandwich. Let's go. King's Hawaiian bread that took me forever to find. A healthy scoop of peanut butter. The shining star of the meal, a can of tuna. And of course, what does every peanut butter and tuna sandwich need? Two thick 
slices of cheese. Let's go. And there you have it, a sandwich fit for a king. Okay, this next one I'm calling the real Italian. Pretty simple, spaghetti, meatballs, peanut butter. Mamma mia! Bone apple teeth. Okay, next we have what I would consider to be the classic disgusting bulking meal, and that is just making a meal into a smoothie. So here we have dinner smoothie, spaghetti, cooked chicken, raw broccoli, oil. Healthy fats, Bruh. and of course, some water. Mixing time. Do you even work out if you haven't blended chicken at one point or another? <laughs> Looks good. Looks like salad dressing. Ooh, it's chunky. It actually doesn't smell bad at all. It smells really lovely. I'm gonna add more water though, so it goes down smoother. Yum, okay. Dinner is served. This next one is a big muscles treat. Basically, someone's concoction of protein ice cream, but with real ice cream, so. Protein ice cream, bulking addition. They specifically said Ben and Jerry's, so it just shows this flavor. They said they used half a tub of protein powder. That is insane. No offense. So I'm gonna just use one scoop, cause that, I don't know if I believe you. Two scoops. And you need some mixing, so I'm gonna put some milk in there. Nice and thick. Oh! It smells disgusting. Why does it smell that gross? dessert for a mass monster. Cheers. Okay, and it's time to dig into our delicious bulking day of food. Um, disclaimer. These are not being judged based on the portion. I would honestly imagine people eating these, maybe except for this one, because that one they did actually give the serving size of like the eggs, so I did that one correctly, but everything else, just kind of like, you know, did the ingredients. I'm judging it based on how intense is this idea? How creative are you in the challenges you're willing to put yourself through uh, with food? Because I personally don't believe all of this is necessarily necessary for bulking, but you know, do what, do what you gotta do. Do what you wanna do. Today, we're gonna try it out. So, breakfast, let's go. Add some delicious honey. Yeah. You can see the milk curds in there, as I'm not sure I cooked that correctly. You know, truly that one's not bad. That was not bad. I'm giving that seven out of 10. Pretty good macros, pretty good taste, pretty good creativity. Good job. Of course we have chocolate milk for the Bev. Um, 
classic sports drink, chocolate milk. If you didn't know, now you know. Yo. I don't think I've had just like regular chocolate milk in a while because that came out pretty thick. I usually just buy milk and then make it chocolate at home, but. Mid. Ooh. Spaghetti and meatballs and peanut butter. This one I don't think is gonna be bad either because it's like peanut sauce, right? It's like the same general idea. Peanut sauce. I feel like this one's actually gonna be pretty good. Not bad. I feel like I'd get a lot of anxiety eating that though because it was really hard to chew. Mm -hmm. Felt like a dog. <laughs> this one gets a six out of 10 because um, it kind of gave me anxiety eating it. I'm not gonna lie. I just felt like I couldn't, it was taking too long. I think something some people look forward to or not look forward to. Something some people try to do with their bulking meals is just make them easier to eat. That was not easier to eat. That was difficult to eat. That was a challenge to eat. That was my jaws burning more calories just eating that, than it's worth. But um, you know, it's dense. It's dense. Peanut butter, how can you go wrong? So uh, six out of 10. Creativity, fine. Uh, taste, fine. Chewing, anxiety. So, okay, next. Chicken, broccoli, and spaghetti smoothie. <sighs> smells a lot better fresh when it was like warm, um, like a soup. Now it just smells like oil, so. Yeah, cheers. The texture was not what I expected. Yo, yo, and I didn't season anything at all. So there's like zero flavoring. Yeah, buddy. If you're drinking that, you need to go to jail. You need to spend at least 30 to 60 j day, day Oh my God, you need to spend at least 30 to 60 days away from society, okay? Cause you're a menace. Maybe if like there was seasoning there, it'd be pretty, it'd be pretty good, it'd be like soup. But the way I made it, which I think, you know, you can't gain muscle seasoning your chicken. It's gotta be unseasoned. You know, I made it like a true bodybuilder and that was disgusting. One out of 10. Creativity, overplayed. Taste, disgusting. Texture, if you think of it like a, like a soup and not a chicken spaghetti smoothie, not bad. But now that I have made it myself and I know how it's made, I hate it, one out of 10. Next, peanut butter, tuna, and cheddar sandwich on Hawaiian bread. That's what the inside looks like. Hmm. Um, I don't think peanut butter pairs well with tuna. I understand the idea that was there, the performance, was lacking, five out of 10. Creativity, kind of creative, just took two different sandwiches and made it into one sandwich. Taste, um, boring, I think a little bit. Doesn't pair too well. Uh, dedication is there though. Fish and peanut butter and cheese, built different. Five out of 10, 
MacGyver protein ice cream. This one smelled really bad, and that could have just been the flavors that I chose to combine. I think it was like caramel cheesecake and cinnamon churro. Sounds like it'd work well. Smelled like it didn't work well. Tastes better than it smells for sure. Thanks to that Gorilla Mine protein, no doubt. <laughs> I don't want to change my ratings on all of these and like change my scale of what I was basing them off of. But um, <clears throat> just going off what I was basing the other ones off of, five out of 10. I don't know. It seems if you were actually using half a tub of protein powder, seems mildly, you know, unfiscal. So I don't know how reasonable that is for most people to use half a, half a tub of protein powder every time they're have an ice cream, but um, creative, you know, cause I feel like protein ice creams made at home always, always are terrible. That was only maybe equally as terrible, which, you know, love that. So five out of 10. Um, I know someone's gonna be worried about <clears throat> this food not being eaten because for some reason you think this is unedible. I'm eating it, okay? We eat in the house of Pat. So here we all eat. <laughs> He's rating that a 10 out of 10. Little fella demolished that. And I'm sure he would love to eat all of those, but we don't feed him meat because he could get a disease. And then we'd have to old yeller him, so. <laughs> okay, and so that's all the bulking foods we're gonna try for today. Um, if you submitted an answer, thank you very much. If this was your answer, um, I commend you for eating this at one point or another. Honestly, no shame if this is how you prefer to bulk. Um, personally, I don't think you need to if you don't want to, but if you want to, Live your life, baby. Do what you gotta do. That being said, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a silly comment below. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.